What is going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you all my top 5 reasons to still own an Xbox One. So I was going to use a face cam today, but the sun went down and it's gotten really dark and the lighting really isn't that great right now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to some original good old fashioned gameplay with some commentary in the background. Alright, so the Xbox One had some pretty decent changes, including its size with the new Xbox One S, as well as having some awesome games released since its launch back in 2014. But since Microsoft is now trying to appeal to PC gamers by making their games release on both Windows 10 and Xbox, a lot of people seem to think like, what's the point of getting an Xbox One? I might as well just have a PS4 and a PC. Which, true, you can do that, but now the point of this video is for me to tell you a few reasons on why it's still a good thing to own an Xbox One S. So I'm going to be giving you my personal opinions as well as a few reasons on why you should still own one. Alright, so by no means am I saying, screw PS4, only get Xbox, <laughs> That's not what I'm saying at all. I love playing on my PS4 as well as my Xbox and my PC as well, even though my PC seems to be a little bit outdated right now now. So, number one is price. Now, since its launch, the Xbox One compared to the PS4 was indeed falling behind on sales, mostly I think to do with its price, going for about $499. Now, the price in some ways was understandable with the system coming with the Kinect camera as a bundle, but honestly wasn't something I was too crazy for. But thankfully, we all seen this coming pretty much. Microsoft has made a few awesome price drops for the system, which not surprisingly increased its sales. So now you can literally get an Xbox One S for about $299, and it comes with Halo 5, Halo Master Chief Collection, which is a pretty sweet deal if you ask me. That's actually what Talk If Gaming did when we did his unboxing video. So already that's a pretty sweet deal right there, and sometimes GameStop does some awesome deals where they'll throw in an extra game when you purchase a system. So for price, it's definitely in a sweet spot. All right, next let's talk about portability. So yes, the Xbox One Fat, which is what I'm gonna call the original one, was indeed, well, fat. I mean, with the size of it and the look of it, it just looked like an old-fashioned VCR, to be honest. Probably the only thing I liked about its size was the fact that, at least what I thought, at least what I've been thinking, is that with its huge size, it would give better airflow with cooling, so you wouldn't really have to worry about overheating or a lot of noise. Even though now the Xbox One S, right now I have it on, and you can't hear it at all. Sometimes I even forget that it's even on. But since, like me and a bunch of other gamers complain and wanted something smaller, Xbox pretty much did just that by making the Xbox One S, which is a heck of a lot smaller, especially easier to travel with. Even for me, it's a lot lighter and easier for me to bring around, doesn't take up much space depending on your setup. Now, I used to own a Games Vanguard, which was basically a suitcase for consoles that had a beautiful 19-inch monitor built in. Now I mainly used it for my PS4, but I also want to bring my Xbox at times, like when going to a friend's house or going on vacation. But the size of the Xbox One and that huge power brick was just terrible for traveling, so my Xbox pretty much stood home taking up dust. But finally, with no more power brick and size change, I can finally take my Xbox One whenever I go on vacation or whenever I choose to bring it along with me. The only thing is, I really miss that game's Vanguard. Yeah, I had to sell it, unfortunately. So, not only is Xbox One as great for gaming and other types of entertainment, but it also has a great 4K Blu-ray player. So if 4K movies becoming more of a thing, like you can now go to Walmart or Best Buy and you'll see movies that say 4K Ultra HD movies, which I got to check out Batman v Superman on a $6,000 4K TV. I wish it was mine, but sadly it wasn't, but it was beautiful. Gorgeous 4K display. I mean, like the TV was mind-blowing. It was an LG TV. Now the Xbox One S isn't going to make your games 4K, so for 4K player, you have two options, at least that I know of so far. There's Sony's 4K player, which I believe goes for about $400, or you can save money and get a gaming device for $300 that also is a 4K player. I mean, like, it's pretty much a no-brainer, I mean, so hands down, I recommend the Xbox One S as a 4K player. I mean, seriously, you can watch your 4K movies on it, you can play games on it, as well as everything else for entertainment-wise. You can 
even freaking talk to it if you have the Kinect camera. Which is probably the only reason I would have a Kinect camera is to use the voice features. We're very, very excited. Come on, Scott, a little uh, bit more to go. Uh, uh, very, very excited. Alright, so next let's talk about games. So yes, it's true that Xbox One S isn't the most powerful system in the world, but it gets the job done. And the games do look honestly from Gears of War 4 to Forza 3 and the amazing visuals of Rise Son of Rome, the Xbox One definitely is a great gaming device. Especially now, there's lots of great games and exclusives on the Xbox One that are cheaper now at GameStop. I personally recommend waiting until Black Friday to get a sweet buy to get one free deal. And also, there's some pretty good deals on Xbox Live Store. But you do need to have Xbox Live Gold, which I don't, but I wish I could afford. But what I do recommend is getting at least a year's worth of Xbox Live Gold. That way you'll get great deals on top of three free games a month. And sometimes the games you give away are great, but then sometimes they're meh. But hey, honestly, they're free, so who's complaining really? And before anyone says, oh, it's not free, yeah, you're paying for Xbox Live. Well, actually it is when you're only paying $60 a year. And if you add the prices of the games you get for free, yes, basically they're free. So lastly, I'm gonna talk about features for the Xbox One. Now, when Microsoft first announced the Xbox One, there was a main focus was this isn't just a gaming device. It's an entertainment device. It's all around entertainment. Entertainment. Xbox, play music. All right, all right, so now I can listen to Justin Bieber. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 They want the ultimate entertainment device for your living room for watching TV, watch Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Twitch, gaming, and more. And right now, as of today, it does all of that very well. Probably my favorite thing about the Xbox One is the instant switching from one app to another. For example, I could be playing Forza and when I want to take a break, I'll just pause, go to home screen, press maybe YouTube, and after I'm done with YouTube, if I want, I can instantly switch back to the game and continue where exactly where I left off. Another cool feature is Snap on the Xbox One. So what Snap is basically is while I'm playing a game, for example, I can on the right side of the screen start up any app I want from web browser, Netflix, YouTube, whatever. Sometimes I'll just start up some Lamar Wilson while I'm playing Forza or Gears of War. To be honest, I think it's great. Now one other cool thing is if you have a strong internet connection and a decent Windows 10 laptop or desktop, whichever, as long as it's running Windows 10, you can stream your Xbox One from anywhere in the house to your laptop and game right there on your PC. It's also great for me, especially when you don't have an Elgato game capture card, but still want to record some gameplay. And if you have a strong internet connection, it's decent. So there you have it. Those are at least my top five reasons to own an Xbox One S. Now you may not agree with me or you may have other things you would like to add to this list. Either way, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. means a lot to me. And I'll catch you awesome gamers at another time, another video. Take care.